Hi, Faux Femid here, and today we're going to be talking about sponsorships. This recording was taken from my YouTube live streams, so make sure you like and subscribe so you get notified when I do live stream. I live stream every Tuesday morning, Eastern Standard Time. Otherwise, you can check me out on Twitch where I stream every Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday morning. Reaching out to sponsors, I find is very hit and miss for the most part, because like a lot of companies, they'll have a sponsorship application. And a lot of the times the sponsorship is just like, it's not actually a, part, a sponsorship. It's more like an affiliation. So like being an affiliate. Think about like how Amazon affiliates work, right? So I have some affiliate links listed in this description. Amazon's not sponsoring me to do that. They're not paying me to do that. But basically, if you click on the link and you buy something, I get something from it. I get a commission. And that's how that works. And that's how like most affiliate programs function. It's just the ones that kind of start going into like the realm of scummy. There are a lot of tech sponsorships specifically for gamer peripherals that will basically be like, yeah, you can you can be a sponsor with us. And that's basically you're being an affiliate. And then but on top of that, as part of the agreement, in order to actually be sponsored by them, you need to show off their products, which they won't send you. You have to buy it. <laughs> I do have some affiliate agreements. Like one, yes, is with Amazon. As a, as a content creator, you get asked a lot of questions like, what are you using? What do you recommend? What computer do you have? What computer should I have? And, and all those things. And often you'd be like, you know what? Just check out the link in my description or my Discord. Yeah, you could do it without as Amazon affiliate links. But like if someone's going to click on your link anyway, you might as well get like those few pennies that Amazon throws at you. So, oh, by the way, um, that's another thing that will sometimes happen is sponsors will reach out to you. I think at the same time, it's like it's very tempting to just take whatever offer they give you. I would say the most important thing is like kind of understand your value. Personally, I take the stance of if it's a company that I want to work with. So, for example, if there's a company that I want to work with, I'll offer them a lower rate because like I want to work with them. Right. I know that if I want to work with a company because I like what they do or I like what they're going to do. Um, it's more beneficial to both of us in the long run. But that doesn't mean like, you know, I'm going to work for free. I'd be like, oh, please. Yes, I will work with you. Just throw me some breadcrumbs here and there. Please, please don't do not do that. The only time I've actually reached out to like a really big sponsor, they don't have a, a, a form to fill out. It's basically just contact them. And what I did was just like, OK, well, uh, I know they're active on their social media. I'll, I'll just make a video that I think will be funny that will feature me. Basically, I'm doing an elevator pitch for myself. I'm going to say, I want to work with you. My goal for that was to make good content that is also brand friendly, but also selling myself in a way that will demonstrate to them that I'm worth it. And what happened out of that was I, I was not expecting them to contact me. The post went viral. It hit like 10,000 views. They ended up DMing me and we negotiated contract. Sorry, that was actually more favorable because of the method of how I got in contact with them. Um, I think if I just like emailed them and say, hey, this is my YouTube channel. This is my Twitch. This is my Twitter. I would love to work with you. They would probably gi have given me a worse deal because basically what I did was, hey, here's a demonstration of my talent and my ability to get views. So in terms of sponsors that have reached out to me, there's gamer subs. I was already looking into getting something like that for myself anyway, because I was trying to turn on like drink less energy drinks. So that worked out really nicely. And because I wanted to work with them, because I know people that work with gamer subs, I had the opportunity to talk to them and be like, hey, what what is your relationship with gamer subs? What do you really think? And I got like I got like the, the down low. I don't actually get money. <laughs> so how it works is for every time that someone uses my link and you get 10% off code fulfillment for 10% off explanation mark GG, you get money off. I, I get like a small commission off of each of your each sale essentially. So like, it's kind of like a win-win. You get something that I think is really cool. I, I get like a couple dollars here and there. And then the, the main selling point for to this sponsorship, what turns it from an affiliate to a sponsorship is that they just send us so much stuff as a sponsor. I have basically every flavor of gamer subs in the house. I, and whenever I run out, I can ask for more. We get unreleased flavors. We got probably more shakers than we'll ever need. We get a bunch of t-shirts and merch. Um, the t-shirts, uh, personally, I think make really, really good 
pajama shirts. That's how that sponsorship worked out. That was a sponsor that I wanted to work with. So right now there's um two other sponsors that I'm working through right now. For anyone that's about my size in terms of viewership, we don't get a lot of like sponsorship deals. I would say there have been sponsors that I wanted to work with, but it ultimately didn't work out which is is fine and i think sometimes like if it's it's even if you as much as you want it to fit it won't fit that's what she said i was approached by um a pc building company to have a sponsorship they offered me either several hundred dollars off or just give me several hundred dollars to be sponsored by them i didn't go for it was because one i've never used their their service before even though yes as a pc pcs are pcs but at the same time, like it's a company, right? And I wasn't aware of this company until they contacted me. And so I think that's really important, especially now with like, it all comes down to customer service. So like, what is our customer service experience? Like, I have no idea. What are the quality of their builds? Like, how do they build their computers? Do they build them right? How do they ship them? I don't know. At the time, I didn't need a new computer. So I didn't like them offering me hundreds of dollars off was basically a no-go because I didn't want to still waste more hundreds of dollars to spend on a computer. I haven't used their service, so I'm not going to, I chose to not go that route because I think since I've never used them before and I wasn't aware of them before, how can I be sponsored by them and sell them, right? I, I made a counter offer to them and uh, they said no. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, I guess it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be. So whenever a sponsor comes to you, just just know that your time is is worth money. But at the same time, the amount of value that you have is basically equivalent to how many followers you have. And most importantly, how much engagement you have. As an example, if you say, well, I have 7,500 followers on Twitter, you'd be like, oh, great. So um, whenever, can you show us an example of a, of a post or a sponsorship that you've done in the past where you've consistently got a lot of engagement? And if your answer is like, no, do you know what I mean? You have to you have to show them an example how you can like make a sponsored post and be able to get analytics on it. I can confidently say if I were to make a sponsored video on Twitter, a thousand views minimum. And then uh, if I I can probably consistently probably hit 3000 if I try hard, I have a pretty decent chance of going viral because a few of my videos that I wanted to go viral went viral like they hit at least the close to the 10K mark in terms of views on Twitter, which I think is pretty decent for Twitter given my size. So like, that's like how I'm able to demonstrate and sell like my Twitter as an example. You have to be able to do the same thing on, on different platforms, like followers and engagement mean different things. For example, if you have like a, a Twitch following, the amount of Twitch followers that you have is completely irrelevant to anything that you can pitch because no one watches VODs for the most part. The only thing that matters is your live view count. And then also like your live engagements and how many times your call to actions actually see fruition. Like how often, like if you say, hey, check out this, how many people click through and check that thing out? Thanks for checking out the video. And once it, and a special thanks to my patrons on Patreon that you're gonna see on the screen. If you're curious about VTubing, I have a bunch of other videos that you're gonna be seeing appearing on the screen. So be sure to check those out if you have any questions or are interested in VTubing or virtual production. Bye bye. Oh.